Hello everyone. Uh, let me discuss about uh, uh, BJD os RT oscillator circuit. Uh, basically, oscillator is a circuit which produces a output signal without any input. So generally, it uses a positive feedback. Uh, and to obtain a sustained oscillation, it has to satisfy the two conditions. The patient around the loop should be uh, 360 degree or zero degree. Second condition is uh, the product of gain, the feedback factor should be equal to 1. Uh, this condition is called as uh, the Markovsky criteria. Uh, types of oscillator, uh, based on the circuit component, it is classified as the uh, RC oscillator and the LC oscillators. And RC oscillators are usually called as the low frequency oscillator and LC oscillator is called as the high frequency oscillators. So in the LC oscillator, there are two types of oscillators are there. One is the BJT Corpitz oscillator and the other one BJT RT oscillators. It is classified based on the feedback network which you are using in the circuit. If I am using a two inductance, it is connected in series with a capacitance box. Then it is called as an RT oscillator. If I connect two capacitors, it is connected in series with one inductance, it is called as Corpitz oscillator. Now here in this circuit I use the two inductance box L1 and L2 the value is 1 mA and 2.2 mA uh, which is connected parallel with one capacitance in the value of 1000 picofarad. And this circuit is designed for a frequency of 100 kHz. So the frequency of oscillation is given by the equation F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L equivalent into C. Here L equivalent is given by L1 plus L2 and the frequency of oscillation I select it as 100 kilohertz and I select the value of capacitance this is 1000 picofarad by using that I will obtain the values of L1 and L2 so L1 is uh, I will get around 1 million and L2 is 2.2 million So if I connect the values of C is equal to 1000 picofarad, L1 is 1 mA and L2 is 2.2 mA, we get the frequency of oscillation is 100 kilohertz. Now the working of the circuit, uh, here I use the uh, voltage divider bias network, uh, by using that I will produce the uh, 180 degree phase shift, basically it is an amplifier circuit, it is made up of R1, R2, RCL, RE by using a transistor SL100. So it will produce a 180 degree phase shift and uh, this is my feedback network, it is called as the tank circuit and it will produce a phase shift of 180 degree. So total phase shift around the loop is a 180 degree plus 180 degree, so it will be 360 degree. This is the working of the circuit and uh, the, I connected the output of uh, the collector terminal through capacitor. The two capacitors connected here, the coupling capacitor CC1 and CC2 and the output is observed by using CRO and at this point I am getting a pure sine wave with a frequency of 100 kilohertz. I uh, will check the output uh, uh, using the CRO and the circuit will be rigged up in the tag board. The uh, circuit is rigged up in the tag board and the feedback network I used the two inductance box L1 and L2. Uh, which is connected parallel to the capacitance uh, C and the uh, amplifier circuit is uh, rigged up used by use, I use the SL under transistor and I use the voltage divider bias network and I given the power supply the voltage of uh, 12 volt is given to the, the 12 volt is given to the circuit and the output side I connected a CRO and the uh, uh, channel 1 I connected to the collector terminal so you I am getting the output signal uh, with a frequency of 100 kilohertz and the amplitude of around 8 volt. So the output waveform for the RT oscillator circuit.